Hey guys, how you doing? It's Harry here again. So today we've got this, which is a little crossbow pistol. I got this from online from onbuy.com. I think I paid under £15 for it. I can't remember the full price, but that was with delivery. It was definitely under 15 And yeah, it's basically just a miniature version of a crossbow, kind of pistol sized. It's a great little thing to have if you want to do a bit of target shooting in your back garden. You don't want to get an air rifle or anything like that. You don't want to spend much money and get one of these. It comes with five of these, I think they call them crossbow bolts. They're just plastic. Not the best made things, but good enough for just shooting into your target. They send five of them. I've lost one of them. But yeah. They slot in under here, underneath the gun, which is quite nice. So you don't lose it all. It's got a nice little sight on there. Might have to adjust it because I haven't used it in a while. Yeah, it's a nice little thing. So basically what you do, this here is the pullback mechanism. Go like that. Puts it into place. You then got a safety, so you can't pull the trigger yet. You pull this thing forward. like so and then you fire just like that I have to say one thing with this because it is quite cheap see how it hooks on the end there on this side every now and then it jumps out and I think it might have just done it then slightly so I've tried to wrap a bit of uh, bit of cotton around it and then tape to hold it in place but it is still slightly jumping out not too bad as what it was, but still not the safest thing in the world. But still, it's not going to go anywhere now. I've got the Gorilla Tape and that on there. But yeah, for 15 quid, I think if that bit was sorted out, it's a great, great buy. But if it's still 15 quid alone, it's still a good little buy, really. One thing I do have to say about it, which I found a bit odd, is I didn't really have to give any ID or anything to buy it. You could literally just buy it. Which seems a little bit odd, really. Should I know with air rifles you have to give um what's it, I think photo ID evidence sort of thing. But this thing I just literally put in the payment details and the address and yeah, they just took it. Sent it off. Came quite quick to be fair. But yeah. Yeah, so it's a good little thing if you want to do some target practice really. And what I'm gonna use for a target bought some target pads a few years ago and I just stick them on here what I use is a bale of hay it's only a quid or two really for a bale of hay and you can I use a bale of hay because I don't like throwing away because you can get archery pads but you have to throw them away after so long because they get used with this I use it for a while I take a bit out and I give it to my uh, I've got pet Daegu and she likes the hay so I use it I can use this for target practice and then when it starts getting destroyed and don't want to use it anymore, I can start taking the hay out and then give it to my Daegu. So yeah, that's quite a handy little tip to know. And you can get bags of hay from like pets at home, the range of that, quite cheap. It's like only a quid or two, I think. And you can get all different sizes, which is nice. Target pads you can get online quite cheap. I got these a few years ago. I think it was £2 for a pack of like 50 from... Uh, from like uh, Trago Mills, which is kind of like the range kind of place. But yeah, so we got that. I'll go set it up in the garden and we'll go give it a shoot and see how it does. So see you in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. We've got our target set up there. We're about five meters away. So to start, just pull it back, like I showed you before. Keep the safety on for a minute. We then take our bolt, we then just Slide them in. We've got this little prong here. You can see that? Slide that in there. And he sits in just like that. We then flick our safety off. And we give it a shoot. There we have it. Do another one. Same again. Also, I should say, you should always wear some sort of eye protection when doing stuff like this i've just got my glasses on for the minute but i should really have my goggles 
any sort of eye protection would be good though. Okay. A little bit better. One more pull up. Got it in the red. Towards me. Safety. Oh, yeah. I hit something, it counts. So there we have it guys, our little crossbow pistol here. I think it's a great bit of fun, a nice bit of kit. If you want something cheap to shoot in the garden or something, I'd recommend it. Always keep safety in mind though. Make sure you've got enough room, no children or animals around. Oh, should wear eye protection rarely if you've got some. But yeah, fun bit of kit. Not the most powerful thing in the world, but good enough. Didn't penetrate the back of the hay at all, which is good to know. It's not too powerful, but yeah. Great bit of fun, I reckon. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more kind of weird, odd videos, like stuff like this, there's more on the channel. So have a look there. And whilst you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.